The House of Mouse may reign supreme, but some of these lesser-known childhood favorites still hold a place in our hearts. Sometimes a horse has gotta do what a horse has gotta do. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated animated movies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're sharing our favorite underappreciated animated movies. We're excluding anything from Disney that's underrated like The Great Mouse Detective. Don't worry, old fellow. It's not entirely hopeless. Number 10, Thumbelina. I wish I were big. This movie tells the story of a girl who was born in a flower and is, you guessed it, the size of a thumb. This was actually a pretty anxiety-inducing movie for kids considering the main character is always falling into holes, getting kidnapped, and almost getting baked into pies because of her diminutive stature. But we're definitely not the only ones who found the idea of falling asleep in a walnut shell to be strangely calming. Would you please leave the book open? Of course, dear. The film wasn't a big hit upon release. If Thumbelina taught us anything, though, it's that size doesn't matter. It's about what you're made of. Oh, I wish I had wings. Maybe someday you will. Number 9, We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. It's a wish radio. The same year Jurassic Park came out, Steven Spielberg's Ablamation produced another movie about dinosaurs. Of course, this animated adventure was a little less intense for younger viewers, but still fun for the whole family. Farewell, my friends. <laughs> We're Back follows a similar narrative to Jurassic Park, as it involves dinosaurs in the modern world. The dinosaurs use time travel to arrive in 20th century New York, and mayhem inevitably ensues. Complete with colorful animation and charming characters, We're Back also includes some strong voiceover work from John Goodman. My name? is Rex. Walter Cronkite and even Julia Child. Welcome, welcome. You've taken so long I almost gave up. Number eight, Balto. Doug cannot make this journey alone, but maybe a wolf can. Balto is 50% wolf, 50% dog, and 100% hero. When the children of his small Alaskan town are plagued with a deadly disease, Balto steps up to go get the cure. He has to travel through treacherous terrain with a villainous foe at his heels. But in the end, he manages to save the town by safely delivering the antitoxin. This movie is actually based on a true story, and visitors to New York City can visit the statue of Balto in Central Park, just like they do in the movie. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Number 7, The Page Master. Welcome to the library, young man. This 1994 live action animation hybrid is a favorite for all the bookworms out there. Is there any greater fantasy than going into a library, getting knocked out, and waking up in a world where all your favorite characters from fiction are real? I'm a cartoon. This movie tells the story of a cowardly boy, played by Macaulay Culkin, who takes his first steps into an adventure that gets him reading. This is not good. Definitely not good at all. With a killer cast that includes Whoopi Goldberg. He's possessed! Patrick Stewart. Not all sharks are in the water. And Leonard Nimoy. Name is... Mr. Hyde! The Page Master is a great intro to classic literature for any budding bibliophile. You guys are the only friends I've ever had. Number six, Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. What are you supposed to be, some kind of fairy? Of course I am. This movie was probably the reason you got into the environmental movement. Every kid who watched this remembers the horror of the Fern Gully rainforest being threatened by development and pollution. But trees give life. They, they make the clouds, the rain, the air. Set in the pristine natural area of Australia where fairies abound, the region is in danger of being overtaken by humans. Fern Gully has a strong moral message that stuck with us even if we didn't fully understand it at the time. But there's also a healthy amount of singing and dancing. To offset the guilt you have for throwing that yogurt container in the trash instead of recycling it. Because greedy human beings will always lend a hand with the destruction of this worthless jungle land. Number five, The Prince of Egypt. Who am I to lead these people? This biblical tale follows the story outlined in the book of Exodus and puts Moses in the starring role. 
It takes a familiar story and develops it into an exciting adventure that'll have you on the edge of your seat. God will not abandon you. So don't you abandon us. At the time of its release, The Prince of Egypt was actually the most successful non-Disney animated feature of all time. The original song When You Believe even won an Academy Award. There can be miracles when you believe. For some reason though, the film has seemingly fallen through the cracks in recent years. That's truly a shame, as it remains one of DreamWorks' most stunning and well-acted animated features. Yes, Aaron, it's true. Pharaoh has the power. Number 4. The Secret of Nim. I must bid you good evening, Mrs. Uh... Mrs. Frisbee. Don Bluth was a former Disney employee who decided to open his own studio. His first project was The Secret of Nim, a dark fantasy that treated its young audience like mature adults. You can unlock any door if you only have the key. He favored the classic style of Disney animation, which is why this movie is reminiscent of the original Disney classics. The story is about a group of lab rats that are injected with a drug that gives them hyper-intelligence, making them just as smart as humans. At the center of everything is Mrs. Brisby, a mouse and a dedicated mother who will face untold danger to save her son. I'll do anything to save Timmy. Anything. The film was a breakthrough for Bluth, who went on to direct The Land Before Time and An American Tale. America? I thought it was bigger. Number 3. The Road to El Dorado. El Dorado. The city of gold. Tulio and Miguel are Spanish con artists who fandangle their way into winning a map to the mythical city of El Dorado in the 16th century. When they stow away on a ship headed to the New World, the adventure really gets started. Hang on! That's right here, old boy! Upon arriving in El Dorado, they're mistaken for gods and decide to play along. You do not question the gods? That's right! Do not question us! The Road to El Dorado is a comedy above all, and is full of gags that will delight both children and adults alike. With a wonderful sense of humor and adventure, the film is simply fun from start to finish. Shangla. Land. Number 2. The Iron Giant I guess you're not gonna hurt me, huh? In this big-hearted story of unlikely friendship, a boy forms a relationship with a huge alien robot during the Cold War era. This film was tragically underappreciated upon its release, but a generation of 90s kids will always remember the huge feels it gave them. Who knew that Vin Diesel could actually make us cry? You stay. While the film is often remembered for its more emotional moments, it also works in a fair deal of comedy and action. All the while, it avoids many of the tropes that were associated with animated features at the time, such as musical numbers and princesses. You are who you choose to be. Superman. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh yeah! One more time. Should I get out and push? All dogs go to heaven because unlike people, dogs are naturally good and loyal and kind. Number one, Anastasia. I just want to know who I am. Probably the best thing about this movie is its titular heroine. Anastasia is the complete antithesis to the trope of a damsel in distress. Even so, she also had a collection of sick outfits that made our inner princesses so jealous. I couldn't have said it better myself! The film's soundtrack is amazing and memorable. And with some of the songs staying stuck in our heads even decades later. Painted wings, things I almost remember. Also, the cast list is insane including actors like Meg Ryan. Thank you, I guess. John Cusack. You know I do. Kelsey Grammer. He certainly has a mind of her own. Hank Azaria and many more. The film even works in some interesting Russian history, although it's not exactly accurate. Ah, I know. Together in Paris. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.